I'm Eloise Matheson. I'm a mechatronics engineer at CERN. Welcome to CERN's robotics workshop. This is CERNBOT 2, one of our modular robots that we use regularly for inspection, maintenance, and repair tasks in the accelerator complex. It has these Meccano wheels, so it can move side to side very easily. So we might send robots to an area where a human might not want to go, either due to risks of some oxygen depletion or some gas leaks, or even if there's presence of radiation. It's got lots of different sensors on it. Mostly we use cameras. This is to give what we call telepresence, so the operator has a more intuitive way of controlling and interacting with the robot. So here you're looking at the beginnings of the prototype of the FCC robot. This could be where the future of CERN is going to build a new accelerator that will be 100 kilometers in circumference. And in that sort of accelerator environment, robots will be really important, both as tools you can use for inspection, maintenance and repair, but also as first responders. So this is a novel robotic system we're building that will inspect the inside of radio frequency cavities that give acceleration to the beam. And it's really important that the inner surface is perfectly machined. And so we've built this robotic system to take thousands of close-up photos using a liquid lens camera. Okay, so here you have CraneBot, and you can imagine that this robot's really useful if we need to access an area that's very cluttered. So when you drop it down from a crane, you're hanging off cables. So of course you have sway and momentum from everything going around. But you have these two arms, and it's a bit like when you're a human and you're using your arms to balance yourself. So the arms can actually stop that swaying motion. Thank <laughs> you.